Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. We have another Windows 10 build video to look at. This is Windows um, 10 Insider Preview Build 14926 for PC and mobile. There are a couple of changes to this uh, around Edge and a few other things, which I'll show you in a sec. First thing I want to mention that they are actually getting um, hot on keeping up to date on builds. So what I mean by that is um, you have to keep up with the latest builds because old builds are going to expire and this is going to start in October well in fact it starts initially in sep September 15 which is today as I'm recording this video uh, if you're running a really old build of Windows uh, 10 you will see a message saying your ex expiration notification and that will come every day in October then they'll start rebooting every three hours and then October 15th they will actually stop build booting altogether. They really want you to get on the latest builds which is totally understandable. Uh, you should be either on uh, the latest inside of build if you're on fast ring or if you're on uh, a slow ring then that doesn't apply to you. So it, it really is for fast ring, anybody on the fast ring you need to get onto the latest builds which makes absolute sense. You shouldn't keep hanging around an old build with potential bugs. So there's one new feature and this is snooze. So uh, this is a web page and I can say snooze this. Um, essentially what it does it creates a reminder so I can remember to read this report. I want it to do it at, uh, let's say, H, let's try and show that in a couple of minutes, so 38, okay, remind, but you could have just done it as uh, when you get home, so that's the other, you can do it on geolocation, you could say, when I get home, remind me to read this page, so, nice um, way of um, prompts to remind you to do stuff, um, instead of just leaving the tabs open all the time like I tend to do, so that was good. Here is one I prepared earlier, uh, read review for 8.30 and that actually came up on my Android watch, if I can show you that camera it's going to be too difficult to focus around, but it came up on the Android watch because I've got Cortana installed on the Android phone, it came up on my Lumia, it came up on all the time devices actually, so I didn't forget about, about that, so there you go, there's that and there's the link and everything else. So, that's uh, reminders. Something else that's changed, we can't really see it on here, but um, when you do uh, install the new build or a new build in the, for regular consumers, this will be when the, net, when the Redstone 2 release comes out. If you have uh, uninstalled some of the apps that come with Windows, then and there's my reminder, and it's come up on my phone and <laughs> everywhere else. So yeah, so if you'd uninstalled some of the apps in Windows 10, that, that ship with Windows 10, then um, previously, after, when you install a new build, it would have reinstalled them. So you know, and rather annoying, you've got rid of it for a reason, and it's bringing it back. Now, from now on, that's not going to happen. So if you install any of the apps, like the Mail app or whatever, then it won't bring it back. So the mail app, if previously I'd uninstalled it, then it's not going to bring it back again as, um, as it was doing before. Uh, one other change which I can report, there's another <laughs> reminder, um, is when you put your pin in like this, I've got a pin, I can put that in. If you have um, a keyboard with a number pad, this is surface, so this doesn't. Um, if it's one of those ones with a you know, page up, page down, and the numbers, then it automatically puts the number lock on when you get to that field. Okay, so that's the main things. A couple of things have come. They've fixed uh, Acrobat Reader, they've um, fixed the personalization crash that was in the previous one. That's where you went to personalization and it would sometimes crash. That is no longer the case. They've improved, improved ski, screen scaling for some games. Uh, they've got rid of some uh, blue screens. Uh, reliability with uh, Microsoft Edge is improved, especially on faces like uh, Facebook and Outlook.com. Um, they fixed the issue with the wireless adapter not working on the Surface Pro 1 and Surface Pro 2. And there's a few other minor fixes as well. So you can read the full details on the digitallifestyle.com. There is a couple of known issues around using narrator and groove music. 
uh, black screen when signing in and signing out. Um, Oracle VM VirtualBox will crash after upgrading this build. Crash on launch. I don't know what that means it'll, it'll then you can then restart it, but it just says it'll crash. And um, calculator may not work, so you may have to re-download calculator. I suppose for the sake of thoroughness, let's have a look. There is calculator, and we'll see if that works. It doesn't appear to have done anything. So there you go. You can see that. I need to re-download it. So that's the changes on this build. I'll do a video for the mobile build as well. Um, that's it. A few incremental changes as Microsoft will continue with the Redstone 2 release.